Uh, hello folks, so I've got my hands on some of the new cheddar squirmy that uh, Blood and Buzzer are stocking at the moment um, and I will be partial to uh, an egg pattern and, and cheddar cheese um, so this is uh, it was a message that a message that I got to asking about the the squirmy that I tie with no bead, the wooded squirmy. So this is a tear, um, and I'm going to show you how to tie it. It doesn't take very much to tie it. Now, the thread I'm going to use is uh, UTC fluorescent white, and it's a 70 down there. So I'll just get started behind the eye of the hook, run on my turns, and come right down the shank of the hook. To where the hook starts to bend. Come on with my scissors, snip that away. So what I have here is this is a it's just a wee hook um, that I use for uh, holding flies whenever I'm varnishing them. So I'll hook that over the top of the shank. It's lead wire on the body. So hold down the lead wire and then come on and count one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve turns. Not bad away. And the wee bits that's left, just tuck them around the shank of the hook. Now, that's enough for me. Um, I have fished these already, and I fished them way less than twelve and more than twelve, and. Um, for me, this was the secret that suited the way I fish. Um, if you fish it and it's not sinking fast enough, you throw on another couple of turns. Um, but I found that the 12 wraps I laid was, was suffice for the secret that I wanted. In it. So just come on then with your thread and just cover up that lead a wee bit. And what you're trying to do is... Where that lead was wound on, you're trying to create they take the step out so that it runs. It doesn't have to be fully smooth that it takes out that that step between the lead and the thread a wee bit. So just come back down again then to where we stop with our thread when we wind on. And come on then. Now this is I don't cut the squirmy, I just pull it off. And use it at the full length it's at. So find the centre of the squirmy. Centre that up the hook. Hold your squirmy down on top of the shank. Punch and loop that on. Now you want to, you don't put these on tight. If you tighten up too much on the squirmy, you'll nip it. So a couple of reasonably tight turns over. Lift the squirmy up. A couple of turns behind. couple of turns in front sorry and then a couple of turns behind let your squirmy go and then give another couple of turns over the top another couple in front and then one behind and when you come back after your one behind give one turn over the squirmy and one turn in front and what that does is lock that on that's not going anywhere all them overlapping turns locks your squirmy in so that it's not able to pull out now the body on the fly, um, I use a UV ice stub. So flip the hook over, dub on the ice stub, don't worry about how this goes on because um, we're going to brush this out just so that it gives the body a wee bit of texture. So hold the squirmy back and just come on them. Double on that double and run it up. I take that back because it jumped back on me rather than come forward. And dub that up. The body of the flight up to where we're going to stop with our squirmy. You want to come back a good eye's length behind the eye. Flip the hook back over, pull everything back. Couple of wee turns on in front, 
just to secure that down bring and score my forward hold it down with your finger and thumb at the top of the shank punch and loop over the top couple of punch and loops give it a turn lift the score my up two or three turns in front and another couple over and just do that two or three times and that locks that front end of the score me on so the last thing to do then is come on then with your up finish tool and give your three or four turn up finish at the head on your scissors knock away that excess now the the thread on the on the fly just to lock that on um just to keep that thread from pulling out what i come on with as a wee dab of this is uh loctite super glue um and the reason why i use loctite is loctite doesn't melt the squirmy the same way as every other super glue does now you don't want to come on and glue this whole thing you just want to come on and the bottom of that thread where we put this on you just want to come on and give a thread a wee dab just to hold that on now the last thing to do before we finish is come on then with a wee bit of velcro there's only velcro on a stick and don't brush the squirm I brush the, the double just come on and give that double a brush out and that just livens that up and gives the fly a wee bit more movement now I like to hide it up and come on and trim it just inside the barb of the hook the point of the hook so there you have it that's our weighted squirmy worm um, and as I say that cheese collar there um, I seen it I seen Andy was was stocking it on and I went out of my way to get it um, because for me that's it's an excellent colour especially in an egg material um, I have never tried it on, on the squirmy but I'll definitely be trying it so there you go folks that's how I tie me with it squirmy worm so Thanks for watching and until the next time, tight lines.